We are now one year into this reforestation project, starting with a paddock one year ago and moving into New Zealand native bush, as you can see on the right hand side. The most obvious update, of course, is the visibility of the plants. At this stage, most of the plants that are growing here are visible again, as opposed to most of the growing season where they were hanging out in between all the grass that was growing and acting as a living mulch. A big shout out to the volunteers and the group from Outward Band that came in and helped uh, release all the plants. And that is a simple method. You go around the plant and you stomp down the grass that's around the sleeve and try and make it as flat as possible. And if there's any big other plants um, growing inside the sleeve, those will be pulled. And what a difference that makes. Not only is it way more visually appealing, uh, at least in my opinion, you can actually see all the plants that were planted a year ago, uh, but also at this, uh, at this time of the year in the winter time, the limited sunshine that is available is now again fully available to the plants because all the um, grass around them has been flattened and it releases the plants so they have more access to the sunlight. Quick side note, if you're new to this project and you'd like a bit of an overview, uh, there's a nice small playlist with all the videos so far that I'll link to here as well as into the description and then you can check that out. The lack of water that we once had during the growing season has completely evaporated I'd say. Uh, there's been lots and lots of rain which is great for the soil, it's great for the plants and it's even nice for the pond because as you can see it is starting to slowly fill up a little bit. The grass is also loving the abundance of water and moisture in the soil as you can see from all the pathways that are greened up again and completely covered as opposed to uh, earlier on in the season. They require a bit of regular mowing at this stage but um, I guess we'll have to take that for granted. So the final thing I want to talk about today is losses with a project like this. Uh, so revegetation, regeneration projects. There's a rule of thumb that you can kind of expect to lose about 15% of the plants that you plant. And we're going to have to be honest with you, we didn't do a total count. But judging by the amount of plants that are still standing and growing and looking strong, especially now that the grass has been cleared and they've been released a bit, uh, I'd say definitely up to 80%, uh, maybe even 90% of the plants are still growing and some of them are really vigorous even. It doesn't take away the fact that there have been losses of course. Um, there's a handful of spots, uh, especially maybe along the fence line and a few other spots where the, um, uh, the d density of plants that didn't make it uh, seems to be a bit higher. Uh, but even though that's the case, there's always only a handful of plants in every spot that uh, seem to have given up on life. And again, uh, I guess that's also just part of the circle of life. Overall, the majority of the plants seem to be doing amazingly well, despite a extremely dry growing season, having to live in and amongst high grass and uh, difficult growing conditions. But here we are, one year down the line, with an amazing looking project. There's a few other videos in the make with regards to this project. One will be about the planting of the second round of plants and another one will be about the first round of plants and pretty much all the plants that we planted, kind of like a plant list overview, which I promised a long time ago, but it's definitely going to be coming. I'll put all of them as well as all the other videos in the playlist, which you can find somewhere here on screen. So definitely check that out. For now, I'd like to say thank you for watching again and hope to see you around for the next one. Take care.